you hear me okay? Yeah, yeah you're perfect. Fine. All right, um, you know what? Let's go ahead and knock out our pre-takeoff checklist here real quick. Uh, we did this before. We're going to use the word cigar, exactly. So go ahead and move that stick left and right. You're feeling for freedom of movement of the control system. You're reacquainting yourself with how light those ailerons are. As you'll recall, recall in the air, they're, they're not as light. They're a little heavier. How's everything feel? Everything feels real good. Perfect. Uh, I is instruments. Uh, your altimeter, just set that at 800 feet. Mine is set at 800 feet as well. Airspeed is at zero. Ball is out to the uh, left a little bit. We did a kind of a half donut coming in here. That has to work. That's gravity. Yep. As soon as we roll forward, that'll be fine. Your vertical speed indicator, we've never er, ever talked about that. And, and the only time you ever use that, really, is when you're doing steep turns because there's a four-second lag to that instrument. Mm -hmm. uh, so you look outside. Your tachometer, bottom left, just to refresh you on that, the long needle is in hundreds of feet, goes all the way around the dial to uh, hundreds of RPM, goes all the way around the dial to zero. That little window at the 9 o'clock position will say 1,000 right. RPM. Yep. Oil pressure, bottom right, it's outside the green area. She's at idle. And when we add power, that's going to pop up to 70 PSI. And our oil temperature is just about to the green, so we're fine there. Uh, G is gasoline. Your fuel gauge is right above your head. You can't even see the bobber in it. Uh, it's it up on the neck. Yeah, I filled it all the way to the neck this morning. <laughs> uh, inside the cockpit by your left knee is your mixture control. That's going to be all the way forward. And then the fuel is on. So red is fuel. A is accessories, elevator trim tab uh, underneath the throttle on the left-hand side, that little black lever there. Right, yep, yep. Um, well, man, we might do a little drill with that today. So we never, I don't think I've had you mess with that. I have not touched that. Yeah, yet, we'll, no. we'll do something uh, to that with that today. Carburetor heat today, it, it's important today because it's in the realm of possibility to get carburetor ice. That's what you saw me move right here, this little quadrant here. It's forward for cold air going yeah, into the carburetor, okay. yep. back for hot. So if you get, uh, when you accelerate air and it has a lot of uh, moisture in it, it can actually uh, freeze into the throat of the carburetor. Bad. That wouldn't be a good thing. Yeah, it'll start. The engine will start to lose RPM. It doesn't happen all of a sudden, uh, but it starts gradually to lose RPM. Then it can't quit you all together. So we one can, four zero at three. We can actually uh, add a little uh, heat just to, to melt the ice. Uh, R is run up. We'll do our run up out by the runway. So let's go ahead and listen to our uh, ATIS, our uh, weather, current weather here. So let me tune that in. There we go. A recording. Alamzu Airport, information kilo, 1953 Zulu. Wind, 160 at 6. Visibility, 10. Dew clouds at 3,200, ceiling 9,000 overcast. Temperature 19er, 2.11. Altimeter 3,000. Visual approach runway 170 in use. Hazardous weather for the Kalamazoo area. Further information available on high watts flight service frequencies. As an initial contact, you have kilo. Kilo, all right. So disregard. So it basically, the weather's fine. <laughs> that's what he. That's what he could away. do. Yeah, there's rain out there. That's why I said hazardous information. Uh, gotcha. But uh, it's not really hazardous. It's just light rain, and we're going to be able. In this thing, we're going to be able to see it. You know, and I saw it earlier, but it looked like it was dissipating. The nice thing is, I've got onboard weather radar, and I'll be keeping an eye on any stuff out there. So what I'm going to do, I'm, I'm just going to get the airplane away from the ta from the hangar, then I'll give her to you. Golf and uh, taxi to Duncan via Golf Alpha Charlie Cross Romley uh, 2 3 for me in this frequency. All right, so the tailwheel is straight. Oh, so, Craig, the airplane is yours. You got it. Just make sure your heels are on the floorboard, and I know they are. Let me go ahead and contact the, the uh, ground controller here. It's 121 Niner. Thank you, Elder Tower. Uh, and you'll see the little yellow line up here. Yep. We'll cross, we won't cross that until we get permission to do so. So, let's construct. Right, there we go. Okay, so you had the ALT then, I uh, heard just a moment ago then? Yeah, so we'll stop right here. He's talking to somebody else here. It, you see on your left, you, your uh, lap belt is uh, on my pedal. Can you move that? There you go. All right, thank you. Yeah, that's not a good thing. Uh, <laughs> feel that. Kalamazoo Ground Stearman, one with the uh, Air Zoo with, I believe it was Juliet, ready to taxi 17 at Foxtrot. Stearman, one Kalamazoo Ground, taxi uh, runway 17 at Foxtrot. 1-7 to Foxtrot, Stearman 1. All right, Craig, you got her. Add a little power. 
you're going to want the stick, uh, as you make this left-hand turn, you're going to want the stick forward because the wind is from behind us. So we'll make a left. There you go. I think I'm looking, uh, the weather's going to be perfect for our flight. And you know, to be honest, I'm glad, kind of glad this happened today. We were so full and we rescheduled as many people as we could for tomorrow. Yeah. But I was on a really tight schedule for today. So we were uh, going to be able to spend an hour together with no more. So today, uh, we're going to do some fun stuff and time's not an issue. So bring the power back a little bit so it doesn't build up too much of a head of steam. There you go. Now you go a little bit to your left, neutralize your pedal input right here, and then when that right wheel crosses that line, you go the other direction. So right now you're doing pretty excessive turns, so kind of see if you can mellow those out a little bit. There you go. That's better. Give yourself a, just a little tiny bit more power. There you go, hold that right there. And then you'll pick up a little steam. Now you can kind of come back from the power. So back to the right. What we have to be cautious for yeah, are these the lights. Yep. Just taking a minute to get feel. I hear you. Again. I hear you. With what I have planned for you, this is kind of important for you to uh, get comfortable with here. Kalamazoo ground, Stearman 1. Uh, we like to go out to Schoolcraft and uh, call you inbound, come back, and if we can, uh, do uh, a stop and go. Stearman uh, 1, I'm sure we can work that out. Thank you, sir. All right, so we're going down here to uh, 17 and Foxtrot. You can see that right off your right. Yep. So if you want to add, a, there you go, add a little power, and then we'll make this right-hand turn. And because there's very, very little wind, we can kind of, we don't have to face it into the wind. All right, so power to idle. Just gently ease on the brakes, really gently. We don't want to get on real, real hard because it'll. There you go, just like that, perfect. All right, Craig. So back on our pre-takeoff checklist, we have everything accomplished with the exception of our run-up. So uh, I want you to bring the stick all the way back to your light, your lap. You want you're on the brakes. Bring the power forward to 1,300 RPM. The magneto switch is on the instrument panel on the left-hand side. We're on both. There's 1,200 RPM to 1,300. There you go. Now reach over with your left hand. You don't want to turn the magneto switch to off. All right, there's your first magneto. We lost 75 RPM. Nice and smooth. That's fine. Back to both. There you go. Regain your lost RPM. Now you go to the left. A little bit more, that's fine. Back to both. I'm going to do this for you as our carburetor heat so that it's a little easier for me to reach. We lost about 30 RPM. All right, you can bring the, the uh, power back to idle so the airplane is good to go. Let me talk to you real quick about the takeoff. So, just to recap, you're going to drive on out to the runway. You're going to make sure that the airplane is going straight down the runway. It doesn't have to come to a complete stop. If, even if it's wrong a little bit, that's fine. You want to look straight ahead. You want to focus on infinity. And when you do so, peripherally, you should be able to see the sides of the runway on both sides of the airplane. Right. You don't want to look left and look right, because if you look left and right, those are the ways you're going to go. Okay. And so the airplane's going to go all over, over the runway, which is dangerous. Yeah. We're going to keep the stick in neutral. The tail will come off the ground. At first, we don't care what the speed is. It just happens. And when it when that happens, the airplane is saying, all right, Craig, I'm ready to go. So just gently get the airplane off the ground where she's safe. And then we don't want to climb out really steep because we want our airspeed at 75 miles an hour before we climb out. Okay. And once we get to 75, we'll start climbing out. We'll bring the power back. And then uh, he's cleared us to make a, uh, a turnout uh, towards Schoolcraft. Oh, okay. All right, so let me go ahead. Got all that in your mind? Yep. And it happens yep. as you remember. It happens slowly. I'll, I'll be talking to you through yep. it. All right, let me call him. Kalamazoo Tower, Stearman 1, we're ready to go at 17 at Foxtrot. Stearman 1, Kalamazoo Tower, proceed on course. Yeah. Runway 17 at Foxtrot, clear for takeoff. Clear to go on course, uh, Stearman 1. All right, head on out. All right, 
so you can see your uh, center line here. So add a little bit more power and just kind of let it meander down the runway so that you know that when you bring the power on in, it's going to go straight down the runway. What you don't want to do is throw the power to it right now because then you're going to be fighting the thing. There you go. So a little bit to your left. Get it all lined up. A little bit more to your right. Right about... I'm going to agree with you right about there. Right That's, about there yep. feels good. Perfect. All right, so look straight ahead. You can pick up the size of the runway. Sticks just about neutral right, right about there. Start bringing the power on in. There you go, right there. Now put, commit to the takeoff. Bring the power all the way forward, all the way. All the way forward. All the way. Good. Hold it right there. All right, little right rudder. All right, here comes the tail. It's getting light. Here comes the tail coming off the ground. Now, gently lower the nose. Lower the nose. Get that airspeed. Lower the nose some more. All right, there's 75. Start bringing the power back to 1,800. Come on back some more. Come on back. Perfect. Good, okay, that's fine right there. Nice. So on that takeoff, that was fine. You had, the stick wasn't perfectly in neutral, because the airplane, the tail really didn't come off the ground much. Which is fine, we'll work on that next time. And on a day like today, when there's no wind, that's fine. But if there was a crosswind, as soon as the airplane came off the ground really slow, and it would start, immediately start to drift left or right, and then if the airplane settled and hit the ground again, it would kind of jar you a little bit. Oh yeah, this, uh, the uh, rain went away. It's better now than it was on my last flight. That's amazing. So, add a little bit more power, a little bit more throttle. There you go. Let's see if I can head over my front though. You got it. Obviously, as you can see, there's no one we're still tuned into the tower frequency. There's no one even flying today, so we can do anything we want. So he lives out on Portage Road? Or, uh... He lives right over here on Westlake. Westlake, okay. Yeah, I'll be going almost right over. Perfect. Well, uh, is he... Do you think he's going to be outside? Yeah, I think okay. we're going to walk out. Yep. Here's what I got for you. I don't think we did this last year. I got smoke oil is what it looks like. <laughs> so when we, we'll circle it, then we'll give some air show smoke. Um, the people will think we're on fire. Yeah, it's 
That's awesome. You're the newest air show pilot. All right, so we'll level off here, and we'll just head, uh, just follow Portage Road out. We'll get uh, outside of the uh, uh, Kalamazoo airspace, and then you can bring the power back to 1750. There you go. Not so loud. Yeah, it's not here as loud. Yeah. Here. Climb power to, at 18, 1850, it's loud. You know, when I fly the airplane down to Florida, uh, I'll run it at about 1850 because it gives me about four miles an hour more. It burns a gallon more of fuel an hour for four miles an hour, so it's like almost not worth it, but. It's gotta be noisy, hell of a time, It's noisy, right? I, you know, it's, it is what it is. I don't want to give the impression that I'm not thankful that I get to fly a Stearman. Uh, you know, I don't want people to think, wow. Well, yeah. But it's just like, the fair time is a lot. Well, it's got to be a lot of work after a while. It, it is. I, I enjoy this because like today, the first flight you did, I do that all the time. And then the second flight, I get a kind of a kick out of because it's, you know, it's right. more extreme. Yep. And then today, we're going to be doing land, take off the landings and the, and the weather conditions are perfect for it. So, and I think you're going to do well today. All right, so uh, we'll go out here, out here about another uh, mile, then we'll do some maneuvers here. But I'm going to I'm going to ask you to do some stuff that you haven't done before, and that is uh, we're going to do some slow flight, and I uh, want you to maintain at least 75 miles an hour out of it, and you're going to try and do that without looking at the airspeed indicator. So right now you're at 20, uh, 2,100 feet. Uh, let's do a 360 degree turn uh, to your right. 45, well, you can pick the angle of bank you want. Now remember, Craig, on this right-hand turn, look at that little black ball, add a little right rudder. So that ball's in the middle, there you go. And what's cool, you can see the uh, trees are starting to change colors down below. That's yeah, kind of cool. here. This is east-west. Yeah, yeah. yeah, there's one there. It's north-south. Just keep it going right until we're heading back to the north, and we'll try one to your left. All right, perfect. Let's try one to your left. Now, you start off at 2,100 feet. And if, you, if you look now, you're at 2,100 feet. So whatever you're looking at is a level turn in the sky that's 90 degrees. And I'm watching those little bars right here. Perfect. Right that's what you want to. I'm looking at you in the mirror. You're not looking at instruments. 180. Two seventy. Three sixty. Cool. Now, let's try this. I'm going to bring the power back a little bit. Uh, bring the power back to 1,200 RPM. Okay. Now, let the airplane descend. I want you to give me, so lower that nose some more. Give me 75 miles an hour with it. Bring the power back some more. Get rid of that engine sound. All right, so there's 75. Do you hear that whistle? Yep. All right, memorize that sound for a second. All right, so lower the nose, give me 80 miles an hour. You can look at the airspeed for this. So you can you can kind of, can you tell the difference between those two? Yep. All right, so now don't look at the airspeed indicator. Give me 75. Okay, so right now you're at about going a little slow. It's going about 65, 68. You kind of feel the airplane's a little bit more sluggish. Yep, yep. Good. Good. Add some more power. Let's make a right-hand turn. 1750 on the power. The idea on this, what we're going to do is shoot some approaches here, is to understand what the airplane is doing by sound. Okay. All right. So per Dick Perry's place is straight ahead. We'll roll the wings back to level. It's out here about a mile and a half. 
So right now, your, air, your altitude is 1,500 feet. So we're 700 feet right now above the ground. Okay? So you can level off here. You don't have to climb anymore. We want to, this is the altitude we want to be at. Schoolcraft is ahead to your left. Okay, perfect. And so the wind today is out of the south. So Dick Perry's place has a north, south, east, west grass strip. So we're going to shoot left-hand pattern into the south runway. So it's going to be the same deal that we're going to be doing back at the uh, Kalamazoo Airport. We was right into our south down there. While we're up here doing this stuff, these are the things that I thought we would do. Is there something that you want to do while you're up here? Something you uh, like? Whatever you got in mind. Okay, fine. perfect. You can see at this point, you see the airport, cut out in the, in the grass, yep. head, head right for it. So, we did not do these today because you've done it before, those shallow 30 degree angle of bank turns. Now, that's what we're looking for. Uh, in the pattern is 30 degree angle of bank turns. You can see what the wind's doing here by looking at the water right here. You see the water, the wind's oh, going, yeah, that way. going that way. And so the wind is calm by the shore. All right. So the Perry uh, Airport is right ahead of you. When we get a little bit closer, what I'm going to want you to do is make a right-hand turn and fly parallel to the north-south runway. Let's go ahead and do that now to your right. Basically, 131 is right underneath you. Kind of just follow 131. That's north-south. Goes up to Grand Rapids. There's your runway off your left. Perfect. Okay. So, bring the power back to uh, 1,500 RPM. And we want 75 to 80 miles an hour out here. Perfect. So you're at 80 miles an hour. There's our runway right here. Well, basically, when we get to this tree line right here, we're going to make another left-hand turn. Now, here's the thing, Craig. You adjust your rate of descent by using the throttle. So if we're high and we need to drop down, you bring the power back. You adjust your speed by using pitch. So if we're slow, you lower the nose. Let's make our left-hand turn here. That tree line is east-west. So there's 75, that's our minimum airspeed for the uh, approach. So again, we call this left base because you're making a left-hand turn. Good. So go ahead and line up here and with that runway. So if you think we're high, you, you bring the power back. Your airspeed's right where you want it to be. Good. All right. So, start bringing them. There you go. Good. So, lower that nose. You're up here a little high, which is great, because if you bring the power back, bring it back some more, way back. All right. So, now the airplane's coming out quicker, but look, look ahead of you, you can see your runway. If you're low and you're dragging this thing in with a bunch of power, uh, then you can't see the runway at all. Bring the power back a little bit more. Airplane's going to come down a little quicker. Just lower that nose a little bit more. There, let it come on down. There you go. Now, listen to it. So we're going to start to flare. Good. Bring the power in. Fly straight ahead. Get your airspeed of 75 before you start climbing. There are some power lines on the other end of the runway here. We're above those now. This airport is really nice because it's all open like we like. There's no obstructions. Yeah. There's nothing out here at all. Yeah, there, and, but the bad thing is, that's not bad. But his strip is kind of, you know, it's not very long. So airspeed management all the way to the ground is pretty critical. Let's try one more. We'll make a right-hand turn. Ah, uh, yeah, let's go left. I'm sorry. We'll make a left-hand turn. So we're going to fly a big old rectangle on the sky here. 
How were you with that? Were you okay with yeah, that? All good, yeah. Good. Let's try one more. So this time, let's see if we can get a little lower uh, towards the uh, initial part of the runway. Because like on that one, you're about halfway down the runway, which is fine. But this time, let's get a little uh, closer to the other end. There you go. Keep on climbing. We'll go up a little higher. Okay, there is your end of your runway off your left wing tip. Carburetor heat's hot, so we'll bring the power back. Uh, this time about, yeah, 1,500 RPM. So this time we're starting off a little uh, lower, 100 feet lower than uh, last time. There you go. Perfect. Whenever you're ready. You can kind of focus in on that whistle of the wind and the wires. Right about where you want it right now, it's about 75, it's perfect. There's your runway off your left wing. Alright, so there's your runway. We're at about 400 feet or so above the ground here. Let's see what we're going to do with that power. There you go. Good. Start bringing that power back. You can always add power later if you take too much out. Good. Bring the power back some more. All the way back. Now, there's your runway. You've got plenty of speed. You can hear the whistle of the wind and the wires. You also might be able to feel that the controls are pretty crisp because you're going 85. A little bit fast. Yeah, you're fine. We got a little bit of power down into the engine, which is fine. Here's the end. Let it come on down. Let it come on down. And then flare the airplane, bring the nose up, bring the power in. Perfect. More power, more power, more power, more, more, more. More power. Lower that nose. Give yourself 75 miles an hour. Good. So the idea on, at Kalamazoo is the same thing. We'll have a little bit of power because it slows everything down. And you listen to the airplane, and then when it touches down, you got to keep it going straight. How'd you feel about that? That's good. good. Yep. I mean, again, you, I'm so happy you're here today <laughs> because of doing this stuff that we're going to do. I don't know what tomorrow's win is going to be, but you got the went right out of the south, right on the nose, and you got the big runway, and that's really good. Say, luckily it's not that windy today out it's here. It's not. The last couple of days have been blowing like 20 oh, to 30 crazy. miles, there's no way. And I didn't even get the airplane outside. It's dangerous to get it outside. So we'll climb back up to uh, 1,500 feet here. So what I thought we would do is, uh, because the airport, the runway is so long, and there's no one using it today, I thought we would go back, and I already asked him, he said that shouldn't be a problem. We're going to do a stop and go. What that means is we're going to land, and then we're going to get the airplane under control, stop it on the runway, grab a breath because there's no one around, and then we're going to uh, shoot another takeoff. Okay? Perfect. Actually, I'll tell you what, I'm going to be, uh, let's, uh, we're going to be flying over some house, so let's go up a little higher. You can bring the power in a little bit more. There we go. Cool. Turned out to be a good day when it's a little bit on the cool side like this. 
it's actually a good thing because the airplane performs better. You know, the air molecules are closer together, right, so it gives you a little bit more lift. Before we head back towards over houses, I'll tell you what, let's have some fun. We, uh, let's do a lazy A to your right. So a shallow angle of the bank, bring the nose on up. Bring the nose on, there you go. Remember to add a little right rudder here. Let that nose come on through. Good, Greg, start rolling it back to your left. Shallow angle of the bank to your left, up you go. Bring the nose up some more. There you go. Air show smoke. <laughs> it's kind of cool because you can see back behind you. Nice. All right. All right, so the Kalamazoo Airport is off to your right. It's hard to see it, but it's uh, it's this way. Now, uh, we can level off here. We're 1,000 feet above the ground. That's where we have to be legally to fly back over there. So you can bring the power back to 1,750 RPM. I'm going to call the tower and tell them who we are. And because of where we're located at right now, we practice at Perry's place to shoot left-hand pattern. So I'm gonna have, we're going to go on the far side of the runway because I want you to shoot left-hand pattern. I would rather be over open fields in the pattern than over people's houses. So let me give him a call. Come to Tower Stemman 1. We are inbound from uh, Schoolcraft. Uh, for one seven, we'd like left hand pattern for a stop and go. Chairman one can the entire roger make left traffic for runway one seven. Runway one seven, clear to stop and go. After uh, stop and go, continue in left traffic. Left hand traffic, clear stop and go, and uh, subsequent left hand traffic, strip one. Cool, so no one's around, no one's inbound, no one's out leaving, so we've been cleared to land way out here. Gosh, you know, we, we need you as a pilot, Greg. No, no, no one's flying yeah, yeah. anymore. I know, and it's weird because there's not that much use out of that airport no. anymore. It's really intimidating for most people because they got jets, they got an aircraft terminal there, but there's no traffic here. So, That's actually good for you. Yeah, you know, it's great. Home. And there's a lot of the, ch the fuel here is the cheapest in the region. As big as the airport as this is, three dollars and twenty cents a gallon. Wow. And anywhere else, if you look at the chart, it's going to be four. I like got it up in Mason, where my friend lives. It's four thirty. At this little Podunk airport, it's over a dollar more. That's crazy. It is. You wouldn't think it would be that much different in the same places. Yeah. Well, the uh, it's the guy who has a self-service pit it's called Kalamazoo uh, oh. Pilots Association. Um, he just wants to make a little bit of money by his volume, you know? Not, right, not right. charging a uh, buck a profit a gallon. He just wants, if I can make a quarter a gallon. But a lot of pilots, they won't fly into Kalamazoo because of the airport, because they're intimidated by it. They all pay the same rate when they get the fuel, don't they? What's that? They pay the same yeah, rate. Yeah, that's not just me, it's anybody. Huh. It, I just found out today, it's $3.50 a gallon. Wow. If you pay for your uh, Visa or a debit card or something, uh, if you have a uh, Phillips 66 credit card, right. they give you a uh, 30 cents a gallon break. I'm gonna, get, yeah, I'm going to get that, so it's 320. But pay to get have one. I'm going to get one, yeah. 30 cents a gallon, that's uh, quite a bit. All right, so just... 180 at 6. Thank you. So 180 at 6. Basically, you have a 10 degree crosswind, which is negligible. It's going six knots, which is uh, seven and a half miles an hour. So there is your main runway, the long yeah, one we right took off from. I requested and received permission to do my left-hand pattern. So, like before, uh, once we get a little closer, I want to have you uh, drop the uh, power back and just send down to 1,500 feet. And in fact, you can start actually doing that right now. So we'll bring the power back, lower that nose. There you go, let her start. Because we practice at 1,500 feet, we want to do the same thing. There you go. Man, it's nice up here. Woo. Man, it's cool out there. Yeah, when uh, Mother Nature's messing with you, you know, if it's bumpy or bitter. Last week I flew a flight, two flights actually in this airport. 
I was surprised that they allowed, let me fly. I think the the, the uh, ceiling was about 700 feet. Wow. And so here at this airport, because of the type of airport it is, for me, they, I have to have 1,000 feet uh, oh. clearance, my clearance. Yep. And they were saying it was 1,100 feet. It wasn't. I was in it, you know. <laughs> You're uh, right in it. Yeah, well. and I, I had to have three miles of visibility, and I barely had that. All right, so here we are at 1,500 feet. We'll bring the power back in to cruise. No more, 1750, so bring the power in. More power, there you go. So we're at 1500 feet. Kind of get yourself, position yourself so that we're on a left-hand pattern like you were before. Now the easy part on this thing is touching the wheels to the runway. The hard part is keeping it going straight. <laughs> but, yeah. but don't be sucked out about it. It should go straight if we touch down straight because there's no crosswind. Doing great, doing great. A little bump there. Not a big deal. Okay, I, I'm going to say this is probably good. We'll make a little bit of a left hand hurt turn here. We'll square it up here. Good, right about there. I was out, so yeah, roll back to the right. We're gonna land on runway 17. It is the long runway, so let's go a little bit to your right. A little bit to your right. Hit that card, Nick, and joking. Yeah, right there. Now, we're a little bit close in, so basically you're not gonna have a, the ability to make a, a left hand turn and roll out. We're probably gonna have to make a, come back to Sigma a big circle in the sky. So bring the power back to 1500. RP's hot. So we're looking at 75 miles an hour. At least, or more. Up here, if we're going faster, that's fine. Bring the power back some more. Don't turn yet. There you go, perfect. That's 75, just listen to that whistle. So Craig, when you're ready, we'll make a left-hand turn. Left. You can see your runway there, runway 17. There you go. All right. So you got the four white lights. That means we're a little bit high. So bring the power back. Bring the power back. Come on back tomorrow. We have the airport made. Way back on the power. Back to idle. There. Now it's just really coming down. Hear the whistle? Yeah, you do. Good. All right, so give yourself a little tiny bit of power. There, there. Hold that right there. Back on the power a little bit. It's a little bit too much. No, back. Okay, hold that now. Look straight ahead. We're look, focusing on infinity. We're picking up the side of the runway. We're coming on down. Good. Now, here we are. Now, flare the airplane right there, and I'll keep it off the ground. There you go. All right, chop the power. Now, keep it going straight. It's pretty simple. Here it goes. It's 20 miles an hour. Keep it going straight. Small little inputs here. Good. So, yeah, ease it. Ease it your way back to the center line of there. This is where we started. Comfortable with that? Yep. That was good. Actually, it felt pretty good. Good. Let's, uh, car feet's cold. Everything's looking good when you're ready. You're right down the runway. Let's go ahead and bring the power in. Let's go again. We're cleared for takeoff. A little bit too. Okay, there. Now, go ahead. Power all the way forward. All right, sticks perfectly in neutral right now. Here comes the little right rudder. There you go. Now, what happened right there, Craig, is... Uh, I felt the torque. Yeah, you have the torque, yeah. So lower that nose. Get your airspeed. When the tail comes off the ground, what it's called is P factor. So bring the power back to 1800 RPM. It's called P factor. So the nose went to the left. I didn't tell you that was going to happen. But you're always ready for that. A little bit of right rudder, which is what you did.
thought that, that landing was fine. Touchdown, the airplane was squared up with the runway and went straight down the runway. Now, you notice that when the airplane slowed down to like 20 miles an hour or so, it, start, it started to wander around a little bit. It started walking around a little yeah, exactly. bit. Exactly. So what happened is you're losing rudder authority when it goes that slow, right? It's like kind of like an arrow when it's going through the air. It's going to go straight until it starts slowing down. Let's go ahead and make a left-hand turn into the downwind. Altitude Tower, Stearman 1, we are left, downwind for a full stop, 17. Stearman 1, runway 17, clear to land. Clear to land, 17, Stearman 1. All right, so this one, give yourself a little bit more room. So we'll, get, make the, we'll move those downwind a little bit farther over to, your, uh, to the east. There you go. All right, so Sprinkle Road off your left wing. On the, on the last one was uh, we are almost over the top of it. So now let's go ahead and make a left hand turn. This fly kind of this is much better. This will uh, give you a very definite base turn down here. Now here we are, 1,500 feet. Basically, I'll tell you this, when we get what they call a beam the numbers, so, so there's six, uh, probably one seven, when we're, when one seven is off our wingtip, the numbers, then you bring the power back. There you go. So the key here is to learn, when you learn how to land it, is you want to do the same thing every time, yeah. right? And so, it, so therefore, if you do the same thing every time, it doesn't matter if you're landing at, at Kalamazoo or if you're at, Grand Rapids or some small, you know, Perry Field, you do the same power settings every time. Some of the runways are a lot longer than this one. Yeah. yeah. We'll make a left-hand turn here. North Country 101, clear Gaylord Airport as filed, maintain 3,000, expect 11,010 minutes after departure, departure 119.2, squad 3104. So the, the best thing is, this is fun, you know. When you're you're learning how to land this thing, right? Right. And if you tell your cool. friends you're land you're landing a Boeing Stearman, uh, this landing this airplane will scare the, the wits out of a licensed noseable pilot. They don't want to do it. All right. So there's one seven. So when you're ready, we're a little bit on the high side, which is there. Very good. You bring the power back because we're a little high, and it's nice because you have that runway right ahead of the windscreen there. kind of wallowing left yeah, and right just, yep. that's that's you over controlling so just kind of there you go just kind of relax there you go good your speeds look let it come on down give yourself a little power not too much come back a little bit there you go now here we go get it all lined up square to there you go keep it off the ground bring the nose up 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 you're right above the ground chop the power now good all the way idle good perfect keep it going straight a little, bit to your, a little bit to your right. Good. Yep. Not too much. When you're going fast, that rudder. Stearman 1, taxi ramp via Bravo, remain in this frequency. Stearman 1. To your right, right. <laughs> this, that, that's what I that's talked cool. about. It, it it wants to wander all I over the place. It looks like I'm going there. Yeah. I'm just pushing on it a little bit too hard, I think. Come on, baby. There we go. <laughs> So here's the thing that you can add power to taxi on up here. Here's the thing, Craig. With these airplanes, imagine you land, you touch it down, and the airplane is not perfectly lined up with the, with the runway. Whatever way the airplane's pointed, it will go that way. And so if you have a narrow runway, it wants to go off the runway. Yeah, and yeah, and you're if, gonna you're, if you're not right on it, uh, you're in trouble because you're going to wreck the plane. Or you're going you're gonna to hit a sign because it, it's nasty. It just take a lot of getting used to it. The more you do it, the more you're going to get used to it. Absolutely. 
So I tell people when you land this thing, uh, it's like golf, right? So you can play the same golf course. Seven two tower, right one. We'll make a right hand turn. Go yep. ahead and add some power. We'll get off the main runway here. You can uh, play golf every day at the same golf course, and it's different because of Mother Nature, right? Because that Mother Nature is going to throw wind at you from different directions. You got rain, you got fog, or whatever, snow. Uh, this airplane here, Mother Nature throws different wind conditions at you, and it's cool because when you master it, it's a really great sense of accomplishment. I say it's just going to take a lot to get used to, but the more you do it, you know, it's cool. That was fun. It actually felt pretty good. That's. It's just like you say. I was overcorrected yeah. just a little bit here and it's there. It's normal. Don't worry about that. And we'll head on in to uh, the tower or the hangar there. You can add some power if you like. There you go. I know you're looking right into the sun. I mean, flying it is fun, let's, but landing it, that, that takes all it's the a skills. Little, it's, it's a little bit good, 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 but... Okay. You got it. Straight on in. There's Jill and there's Chris over here. So if you go a little bit more to your, there, you'll see him. There you go. Straight on in. A little bit power, a little bit, a little bit. We'll get a little closer. All right. Now to shut it down, uh, you you did it last time. Uh, a little red ball. Yep. On the throttle quadrant, yep. bring yep. that all the way back to to a lean, and give yourself a little bit of throttle. Good. Now hold it right there. Don't move the throttle back, or it'll start running again. Yeah. That was cool. All right, perfect. Now bring the throttle back and turn the magnetos to off. And that is done. Great job. Perfect. Thank you.